This is the Daily Market Comment by Mario Sachigiriakos. I'm Maria Pashurdavis. Thanks for joining us at XM.com. The spotlight today will fall on Fed Chairman Powell, who will testify before the Senate Banking Committee at 1500 GMT. Investors usually pay more attention to the Q&A session with lawmakers, where the Fed chief will face a grilling on the outlook for inflation and interest rates. Following a streak of encouraging data releases recently that highlighted the resilience of the U.S. economy, several Fed officials stressed that interest rates could be raised beyond the 5.1% point they projected back in December. Market pricing currently implies rates will peak around 5.4%, and the big question is whether Powell will endorse this view. Considering just how strong the economic data pulse has been lately, with services inflation staying persistently high and the labor market still firing on all cylinders, it seems likely the Fed chief will strike a similarly hawkish tone to his colleagues. The dollar would likely benefit from any hawkish remarks, although the currency's broader trajectory will depend mostly on the upcoming non-farm payrolls data on Friday and next week's inflation report. Over in Australia, the Reserve Bank raised rates by 25 basis points today, as expected, but the underlying message was quite cautious, putting the emphasis purely on incoming data to determine how much further rates will rise. Traders interpreted this shift in language as opening the door for a pause in the tightening cycle, which pushed the Australian dollar lower in the aftermath. In Japan, the latest wage growth data was disappointing, dealing a heavy blow to speculation that the Bank of Japan will raise its yield ceiling on Friday. Wages rose only 0.8% in January, a dramatic slowdown from the 4.1% increase in December. This means real wage growth is now deeply negative, which alongside the latest cooldown in Tokyo inflation metrics might give the Bank of Japan some pause. Crossing into the equity realm, Wall Street closed a volatile session virtually unchanged on Monday, with trading being dominated by positioning and hedging flows ahead of Powell's congressional address. While the outcome of today's session will depend on how markets perceive Powell's commentary, the ultimate path for stock markets seems to be downhill. Corporate earnings are contracting, equity valuations are still expensive, and investors can now earn 5% returns in risk-free U.S. government bonds instead of taking chances in riskier plays. This is today's Daily Market Comment. Thanks for joining us at XM.com.